you shouldn't start start this journey thinking about the final exam uh, two years away you should actually start thinking about the very next mock test coming to chemistry i think that uh, you should actually give uh, like about half an hour to it daily otherwise it piles up completely Hello everyone welcome back to the youtube series which we were having initially i am murari i am currently studying in my 5th year of undergraduation at iit madras i am volunteering for arjuna which is which takes the mission of spreading culture of excellence and ethics in the spirit of selfless service today we have with us santosh who happens to be uh, studying in uh, undergraduation student at iit delhi he got a rank of 99 in je advanced and he is currently studying uh, uh, as a computer science student at in iit delhi welcome santosh thank you for spending your time with us in sharing some tips with students thanks yeah uh, i personally like to talk about the two year preparation strategies for je mains and advanced okay so your uh, what is your uh, topic today so that is your topic today right yeah yeah okay so today uh, santosh will be speaking on two year preparation strategy for je uh, so this will be his topic i request viewers to note all of this strategies so that it will be really helpful for them <clears throat> so let's begin uh, santosh uh, let me start by asking why did you choose this topic can you tell us the importance or why this is important yeah i personally think that the general preparation strategy for je mains or advanced in general is pretty common and most students actually have a basic idea of the path they need to follow in order to get a good rank however it is actually sustaining through with it for two years which really matters i personally wasn't particularly serious about je uh, towards the end of my class 10th but and i used to play lo lots of mobile games and i used to uh, while away hours playing mobile games but towards the beginning of class 11 i actually came to a serious decision to start preparing for je mains and advanced seriously and i sort of went through this small period of digital detox where i sort of stopped using social media and i also reduced my screen time drastically and i think it really really helped me sort of get a clear vision for the next 2 years and actually start preparing with a uh, with the right mindset so i think an under strategy what basically comes is actually learning how to follow through with the plan which is why i think i chose this topic that is great santosh actually yeah this is what the one of the most important problems or most uh, famous problem which students are facing uh distraction of mobile especially uh, which you mentioned already so let's say uh you said something about becoming serious right even i became serious after my 10th standard when i went to 11th standard uh so what do you mean by seriousness you know uh, people think seriousness means becoming complete magu uh, leaving out all their hobbies which we had earlier so what do you think about this seriousness uh, which you mentioned seriousness in my perspective is like it's not completely drowning yourself in, in in the studies basically i think that one has to sort of find the right balance between uh, studying and playing or whatever your hobbies are so you obviously cannot keep studying throughout the day and night uh, because breaks are extremely important because they ma make sure that your efficiency stays at 100% however what you do during the, those breaks is actually much more important so like basically you shouldn't do stuff that uh, completely drains out uh, your energy and you uh, can't even come back to study so you should do something relaxing like going for a walk for some time or maybe listening to music or any other healthy hobby that you may have so i think that what you do during these breaks should actually rejuvenate you and it should energize you when you come back to study so i think that as long as it's not actually blocking you from studying and it's uh, making you lose track of time completely it's absolutely necessary to actually uh, take some time uh, out from studying and uh, give some time to your hobbies as well oh thank you santosh even i felt uh, 
um, whenever we give some time for us for our family or just go uh, go and spend some time out we are going to temple or something like that it always relieves you from stresses which you are going through in jee exams that's what you mentioned also uh, that's great so as we are talking about strategy uh, let's streamline this discussion so that we get why uh, what important strategies are so according to you santosh uh, what do you think the go to the go to strategy or do you think there is the strategy the student should follow and uh, tell me different strategies uh, which you think are important for a preparation who, who the, the student who are prepare, preparing for jw exam yeah first of all while when you actually start your two year journey i think that you shouldn't start start this journey thinking about the final exam uh, two years away you should actually start thinking about the very next mock test or the mock exam you are going to give because that sort of helps you uh, focus on something uh, that is much more realistic and allows you to take small steps and ultimately focus on the bigger picture so you you should try to score better or prepare better for the very next mock test, test and keep that in mind while preparing now coming to my own daily routine i personally had this habit of maintaining two lists the first list contained the deadlines which are coming up say in the next week or the next two weeks and and it also contained the topics for the very next mock exam the other list contained what i was going to do on this very day and i used to actually uh, review and analyze the, uh, these both these lists uh, daily for 10 to 20 minutes uh, just before going to sleep and i used to check whether i was slacking off or i was doing too much so this actually helped me ma make sure that i found the right balance another thing i actually wanted to stress upon was that while studying uh, when people start with the uh, two year journey people are actually in a hurry to finish the syllabus really quickly while and some others take it too slow and actually end up missing some topics so for that i think that you should try to understand and grasp the topics deeply in class 11th and you should have a more problem solving and uh, timed approach towards class 12th so i think this actually ma makes sure that uh, you actually understand uh, the subjects well as well as you have a uh, you, are, you can finish uh, within time coming to the subjects i think that this is very true for physics because if you understand the top concepts in class 11th and then you go for problem solving 12th i think you can really develop interest in physics as far as maths is concerned it was a real struggle for me especially in class 11th because i often found myself not knowing the approach to several problems and i couldn't even start solving them uh, so for this what i did was i started maintaining a formula notebook in class 12th and i actually started writing uh, summaries of uh, unique problems which i found and i think that really brought about lots of clarity as uh, i actually uh, started updating it day, uh, every week now coming to chemistry i think that uh, you should actually give uh, like about half an hour to it daily otherwise it piles up completely and then uh, it's really difficult to cover up and ironically chemistry has a huge syllabus but it's actually the most scoring of all coming to physical chemistry i think it has a an approach similar to that of physics itself coming to organic and inorganic i think that you should follow your notes thoroughly and uh, revise your reactions like daily because uh, if it piles up once then it's extremely difficult to cover it up i think i also think that uh, many people try solving too many questions for organic and inorganic and uh, instead of that i think you should uh, sort of focus on revising your notes more before actually going for them this is my appro basic approach for each subject so i'll just summarize few things which you told as the strategy which you mentioned and and few more things i would like to you, like you to reiterate so that viewers are again uh, uh, make, uh, make to make sure that those points are highlighted okay so you also you initially mentioned that uh, don't think about the exam as such uh, think about the have some uh, 
short term goals like for example mock tests are some of the one of the uh, short term goals we should think of prepare for them especially topic wise preparations all those right and then later you also told uh, how how did you maintain this uh, make you how did you made sure that you prepare for this uh, having different topics i mean uh, making a list what to do what not uh, etc later you also mentioned what is important for 11th standard and what is important for 12th standard and you gave your specific example uh, why you had a struggle with maths initially then how did you improve your mathematics example etc right uh, but uh, would you like to reiterate on this subjects right so you mentioned uh, why uh, the physics chemistry maths uh, you said physics of course uh, requires a lot of interest interest related you have to study these concepts to uh, to gain those interests uh, but would you like to reiterate again uh, for the viewers yeah definitely like uh, for physics uh, the one thing i found was when i actually entered into class 11th i was actually uh, quite afraid of physics in general uh, because i thought that it was particularly difficult to understand concepts and i actually started uh, uh, reading uh, reading the reference books uh, and giving time to the reading part instead of the solving part uh, many of my uh, friends used to give to uh, lots of time to solving and uh, i i was quite worried because i couldn't solve the questions initially uh, but actually giving time to the uh, reading theory uh, especially in class 11th as i mentioned uh, sort of strengthened my concepts and i think uh, class 12 sort of builds upon that uh, and al allows you to solve uh, questions uh, like uh, timely during the exam okay uh Thank you, Santosh. Uh, in just one, one more question. Uh, just continuing this, you mentioned your experience. Uh, you said you started your actual preparation from 11th standard, right? Usually, yeah. students uh, tend, especially for JE, they start sixth or seventh, uh, correct? Yeah. So, uh, but uh, many do it from 11th standard, even though they have, don't have much knowledge till then. Uh, so tell me your experience of transitioning transitioning from that 10th standard to, to uh, that preparation, which is JE's high level preparation, and you are transitioning from 10th to 12th. Yeah, so I think that until class 10th, uh, even during uh, like uh, st st studies in general, uh, you don't have to focus on concepts uh, too much. Uh, you can uh, study the textbook once and uh, you can sort of give the exam by reading the, reading through the questions on the back of the uh, textbook as such but when i transitioned to uh, from class 10 to 11th i had actually had to change this habit of uh, simply reading through the textbook and i actually had to uh, give emphasis to each and every sentence in the uh, textbook because uh, each of them ha sort of has this hidden meaning and it's only when you sort of understand that uh, properly that uh, you can uh, go about actually trying to solve questions because each question will come with its own unique challenges and uh, unique approaches and f uh, it's slowly through finding them that you'll sort of uh, learn and understand more that's great uh, so i want viewers to uh, note on all these points because people who are new new to uh, new to preparations who are coming to preparation in 11th standard uh, that's okay that's really good i mean uh, you, and you need to transition and so this transitioning is important um, so santosh let's uh, uh, let's talk about book recommendation people uh, pe i have seen people recommending various sector of books uh, i mean spectrum a spectrum of books actually and according to you, what are the most important books for a JEA aspirant uh, and any other reference to, if you would like to suggest? For, for me, uh, like uh, for uh, being subject specific, I think uh, in physics, uh, HC Verma is really important as far as understanding theory is concerned. And uh, for solving questions, I think that you can slowly go for Erodo, but not in class 11th, perhaps in class 12th. Uh, for chemistry, uh, for physical chemistry, I think uh, Narendra Avasti's physical chemistry is great. And for inorganic, I think uh, VK Jaiswal's inorganic chemistry is good. Uh, for organic, I think that uh, focusing more on notes is better instead of going for reference books immediately. Uh, in, in the case of maths, I think uh, Senge is really great. Uh, and uh, another thing I wanted to uh, stress on was that uh, people often uh, go out solving reference books without actually understanding the theory first. 
So I think that you should sort of read through the theory properly and then go for them. And uh, the amount by which you through which you solve them is completely up to you. But before actually going for these books, I think it's it would be great uh, to solve the previous year questions uh, of uh, of J mains and as well as advanced because I think that they sort of give you this unique perspective of the examiner as well as uh, of the difficulty level and uh, the reference books can sometimes be misleading in that aspect. So you mentioned that solving previous year question papers are quite important, especially because that gives the reality of exams, right? Uh, probably. Uh, so that is one thing. And you mentioned certain books. I want to reiterate H.C. Verma, which everyone follows. So H.C. Verma in physics. And you mentioned Erodo can be solved, but not initially. You need to understand the concepts first and then start solving basic questions. And then later, if you have time, go to Erodo. And then chemistry, you said, mentioned Avasti, right? Yeah, Avasti. What is the name of the book, sir? Uh, Narendra Avasti. Avasti. And uh, for inorganic, uh, just one. Yeah. Narendra Avasti. Okay, okay. So for chemistry and maths, you have Sengage. I mean, for Sengage, you have various, in, even in Sengage mathematics, you have, I think, geometry separately. And uh, uh, for each of the topics, certain topics in mathematics, you have separate Sengage books. Uh, so yeah. these were some important books which you recommended. Great. No, no, just, uh, thank you, Santosh. And let's go, let's move to the next question. Uh, I wanted to ask you if, is there one preparation strategy for all? Or is it like everyone has to find their own strategies? Uh, for example, you've told your strategy, how you prepared. Uh, or is it like some kind of basic strategy, mo strategy model you have? And then uh, based on that, you um, you build on those basic strategy models. Um, yeah, I think uh, that the basic model, as you said, is uh, pretty similar. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you sort of come up with your own nuances and your own variations to the uh, basic model. Uh, and this like this precise model that you'll slowly develop over perhaps class 11th, uh, it, it, it will not come overnight. And uh, the students should basically understand that uh, even my strategy, it came through lots of trial and error and lots of experimentation. So, for example, like some students actually uh, like solving questions, uh, uh, several questions and understanding the concepts through them itself. Whereas some people actually uh, focus more on the theory before uh, maybe solving questions and uh, the questions also they uh, solve uh, uh, a bit less compared to the others. As far as I'm concerned, I think I like to stick to one particular book and actually read the theory and uh, solve its questions to understand a particular concept or topic. Okay. So let's say uh, different people have different kind of uh, understanding. For example, you said some people would uh, read more concepts. Even if they solve lesser number of questions, uh, they get confidence. And some might need more number of questions to get those, get that confidence. How do you think one 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 can achieve that? I mean, uh, just by solving questions, or should we? Uh, what is a strategy to understand? Uh, which kind of model works for him? For example, more number of questions, more concepts like that. Um, I think that uh, everyone can sort of start uh, begin by actually uh, going through the theory first and then uh, doing the questions. And even while doing the questions, some people uh, like uh, they're done with the question as soon as they get the answer uh, or uh, they check the solution at the back of the book. But uh, you should actually uh, uh, try to uh, go deep into the question and sort of compare it with other questions as well to see if you can group them together under a particular type. And uh, I did this especially for maths, as I mentioned the formula notebook. So I used to uh, sort of uh, group certain problem types together. And uh, that really helped me because I was able to uh, start identifying approaches in the problems. Let's go to next question as we have detailedly discussed about strategies and, um, and books and also the model which you were mentioning. Uh, now we'll go to time management. I, I suppose I, it's one of the most important uh, things uh, is prioritization, right? Uh, not only to prioritize study over other things which you do, but even while in studies, you have many things to prioritize. In studies, uh, you need to focus on one of the subjects at one particular time, etc. So what was your time management strategy uh, during those year, two years of preparation? I think that uh, about six to seven hours daily go to the coaching time, uh, to attending lectures, uh, travel as such. 
about one to two hours should actually be given to sort of understand what was taught during that particular day and to maybe uh, do the homework related to it. But apart from this, I think that uh, the self-study time should self-study, which is actually the time that you give apart from the coaching should also be about six to eight hours. And this, uh, I know it's, uh, it seems like a huge number uh, in the beginning. And uh, many students get, like, actually get frightened when they hear this, but uh, this isn't something that uh, comes o overnight and uh, e even sitting for that much time in class 11th may uh, be detrimental, but you can slowly develop this from class 11th to 12th by perhaps increasing 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour uh, over a few weeks. And I think that this uh, sort of helps because it's only when you actually sit down and study on your own that you uh, start understanding concepts and you're able to solve questions. Uh, many times students actually uh, feel that uh, they can learn by passive listening through the lectures. And I think that uh, they should sort of understand that uh, that's not going to happen. It's only when you actually uh, open the textbook and actually uh, solve the questions and uh, get stuck at some certain question and then later realize the concept that you can uh, sort of understand. Yeah, that, that is a very important point which you told, Santosh. Even I, uh, one, one of my teachers when I was in 12th standard, he directly told to my face that just listening to us will just give us will give you 20% chance to crack JE and rest 80% remains with your effort um, you get stuck in a question you get stuck in a topic then you come to us we can help us but that 80 percent is based on our work our as a group uh, discussing with friends studying by ourselves so this is one of the important points that you mentioned that self-study is very important give time to that right? great uh, so uh, while let's say you you as we were discussing about this time uh, time management strategy right keeping six to eight hours daily uh, probably you would have done that uh, because you have succeeded in this exam right how did how to maintain the steadiness over the two years of preparation like we may feel uh, we will do for a couple of days and then get uh, we may slacken right so how do you how do you maintain this how did you maintain this steadiness it, two years is a long time and, and you do sort of uh, lose your steadiness once in a while and there's always this sort of uncertainty when, with these exams like uh, the dates changes sometimes and especially uh, d d in my case during covid the it wasn't really sure uh, when the exams were going to happen and they got postponed two to three times and that uh, discourages you a lot uh, so uh, you, like before the first day means uh, we were not really sh sure when it was going to happen and there was like a s sudden change in the uh, pattern as well and that sort of discourages you uh, quite a bit sometimes and it, everyone so, does go off track once in a while but i think that you shouldn't really let that discourage you some people are often going to this negative cycle and actually uh, keep worrying that they've uh, lost time instead i think that uh, it's okay to go off track once in a while but when you do get back on track it's actually important to uh, realize and make up for the uh, time that you've lost that's yeah thank you Antosh. and um, so now all the viewers have probably noted down all the important points which you told uh, now most of your preparation strategies are done before uh, le le concluding i have a couple of questions one where everyone wants to know how is IIT, IIT, uh, you're in IIT Delhi now, just yeah. in maybe 30 seconds, one minute, you can explain how is your, uh, current, currently, how are you feeling in IIT Delhi? What is your life in IIT Delhi? Yeah. Like I, I recently, like it's just, it's just been three months since I, uh, came to IIT Delhi and, uh, the campus is extremely beautiful, uh, and it's, uh, full of greenery. And, uh, I think uh, that like uh, when you meet like-minded people who have a, a great uh, go great goals in life it sort of energizes you and it sort of uh, keeps you motivated in general and uh, i think that the campus is also extremely beautiful uh, santosh you have gone through our uh, book of art of concentration written by amal m das uh, and probably would have read most of it what are your views? Can you uh, what What do you think about the book? What are your ex What is your experience uh, when you read the book? And do you think this will help students who are preparing for uh, competitive exams like JE? 
yeah i think that the book was actually quite engaging and uh, the storyline was also like progresses really smoothly uh, each chapter sort of like builds upon how you should uh, start the journey of improving yourself uh, there were several uh, really good quotes and uh, analogies for example there's this chariot analogy of the human being which i read about and i think it really changes your world view and uh, say you're stuck somewhere i think it really allows you to believe in yourself and there's another example of this distinction between the inner intermediate and outer self and i think uh, that also sort of uh, helps you uh, sort of believe in yourself and that you can work hard in order to sort of clear your concepts as such and i think that students should definitely give this book a read because it allows you to get a concrete understanding of your distractions and sort of take charge of them and it also gives really practical solutions to them Thank you, Santosh, uh, for giving your recommendation and views on the book. So uh, now it's time for the viewers. Uh, if if they real, this is an alter concentration book which Santosh was mentioning. It it this book has helped thousands of students uh, for getting out of distraction or help them in their process of uh, preparations of JE or any competitive exams. And it's still helping students. And uh, this book. Uh, the, as Santosh was saying, there are a lot of concepts uh, in detail, as a story, which is given in a storyline type, and students can understand why uh, why they get distracted, what is the root cause of distraction, etc. So I would recommend this book to all students. Please take the book if you really want it. The description will be in the uh, YouTube uh, uh, description box. Uh, go go to that uh, and take a book. Uh, Take a copy of book. Read it yourself. Thank you so much, Santosh, for uh, giving your time to for all the students who will be viewing this. I hope students got an idea uh, how to strategize for the preparation of entire two years. Uh, with that, a uh, ha very heartily congratulations again to you, Santosh, for uh, getting into IIT Delhi with a wonderful rank of ninety nine. With that, we were uh, we are closing today's session of uh, success tips from Topper Slips. Um, our today's guest uh, was Santosh and signing off. Thank you so much. Again, Santosh. Thanks.